Today, we're going to be taking a look at the newest weapon added into Payday 2, the Heather Submachine Gun. This gun came along with the Jimmy Character Pack and is free for anyone who owns Payday 2. So let's get started with the base stats. The Heather Submachine Gun has a magazine of 32, total ammo of 160, rate of fire 750, damage 40, accuracy 52, stability 44, concealment 25, and threat 10. And already just by looking at the base stats, most people can tell that this is a top tier SMG and it's got some damn good stats. So I have three options here and three different ways I like to use this weapon. There is my stealth loadout, loud loadout, and a also uh, low high concealment rather dodge loadout. And uh, it's not the most customizable weapon in the game. Uh, really the only options you're going to have are with your barrel. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one I have. This is a stealth one. So we have the low profile suppressor, a concealment boost, an auto fire, a compact laser module. No sight because I think the iron sights on it are pretty damn good. And uh, yeah, you should be just fine with them. Unless you like a si uh, sight and you can risk losing you know, one or two concealment. You can throw it on if you want. And always keep the unfolded stock on if you have one because all it does is increase stability and really does not mess with anything else. So yeah, that's very nice. Uh, the next one I have is my dodge one I think, yep. So this has a stubby compensator on it, a concealment boost, a auto fire, no gadget. Uh, usually when I'm going loud I don't bring a gadget just because I don't like the way they look and I, don't know, I just think the guns look better without them. So yeah, no sight and like I said the unfolded stock. And my last one is my uh, loud one, no dodge build. I run a competitor's compensator. Uh, you can really switch this out for a funnel of fun nozzle or a fire breath nozzle, uh, whichever one you prefer. I just like the competitor's compensator because it's just kind of the best of everything. A little bit of damage, a little bit of accuracy, and uh, quite a bit of stability. And boost, I have team boost on. I always have a team boost on usually. Uh, it just helps out myself and the team. And all the other attachments are the same. Auto fire, no gadget, no sight, and the unfolded stock. So like I said earlier, you know, this is kind of a, uh, you know, lackluster gun when it comes to customizing it. Really, there's only one option that you can do, one or two, which comes to, like, the barrel and the boost that are really going to make a difference. So, yeah, but the one things I do really like about this weapon are the way it looks. I think it looks really cool, and uh, the iron sights on it are also great. You know, I'm always an advocate for using iron sights. Uh, nine out of ten times I'll use them, and these ones are uh, pleasantly uh, surprising to use and uh, just very easy as well. So I'm really big fan of this gun, just basically because of its iron sights, and it's pretty uh, good stats. So with mods, like I said, you can get this weapon up to a pretty high damage. Um, the one I usually run is this competitor's compensator, and the damage is 45 on it, which I think is pretty good, considering it's 900 rate of fire. But there's also one that I haven't shown you guys yet, and that is the akimbo version. So it's interesting because these are the first weapons that can be ran akimbo that aren't pistols. So yeah, these are pretty cool. They're exactly the same as my dodge one. They just have a stubby compensator on it along with a concealment boost and auto fire and obviously the unfolded stock. So uh, these things are fun to use. They really are fun to use. Uh, we'll get on to some gameplay in a little bit, but they, they really aren't the most efficient things in the world. And I have to say, uh, I really do prefer just having one of them because one of them is just so much more ammo efficient than two. And uh, yeah, so those are the ways I like to modify these things and just a general idea of uh, how you're, what mods you're going to be putting on them when you're playing with it. So yeah, this is also free, like I said, for everyone. So you guys can go experiment with yourself and see what you like on it. But this is just what I like to put on it. So yeah, let's get into some gameplay of uh, Kimbo SMGs. All right, guys, so here we are at the mall with the Heather Sun Machine Gun. So I really like the way this weapon looks in-game. I think it's a pretty unique weapon. And here we have the Akimbo version, which I really love that inspection animation. Yeah, and these things are just totally badass. I am running a Dodge Akimbo build, so that's why I have my stubby compensator ones with me. So without further ado, let's go kill some shit. I decided to do Mall Crashers just because it is a uh, relatively quick heist that you can just get in and out of and showcase a weapon off pretty well on. Obviously, you know, I don't want to do like an hour heist when it really only takes about five minutes to tell you guys what's going on with this gun. But I, I do like this. Look at this. We have akimbos that aren't pistols. Uh, we've been wanting this since akimbo even came out. So it's kind of cool that we actually have that now. And I forget the strat to destroy things as fast as possible on this. I think if you throw it like up there, maybe it'll destroy that back wall. I can't remember. I can't remember the last time I played Mall Crashers and nope, I didn't do it. I guess if you throw it in the middle of this room right here, it'll destroy the car and everything off that wall, but 
Whatever, we can just destroy the gym with fire and hopefully that'll do it. So yeah, look at these things. They have an extremely high rate of fire as well. And I forgot to mention the melee that I brought with me. It is the new melee that was added with the Jimmy character pack as well. And uh, they're doing it so they're not... Or usually for character packs, they do only get uh, one melee weapon. For some reason, I was going to say that they've just been adding one instead of four. But that's just because of the wolf pack. They just added the pounder instead of adding four like they usually do. But whatever, I'll bag this up. Um... The only thing I have concerns about is that I don't think that these things are going to be very good at taking out snipers. I actually know they're not very good at taking out snipers. And there's quite a bit of those on this map, but they're not too far away, so we shouldn't have that much of a problem taking them out. And once I'm done killing some stuff with the akimbos, I'll switch over to my secondary, which is just the heather by itself. And uh, that's that's the way I like it. I, I like the heather by itself, and I, I think it's a much better weapon that way. But I can give you guys a tip when you're using the... Akimbo versions definitely bring a high accuracy, high damage uh, secondary, uh, preferably a pistol, because pistols, we all know, are just god guns in this game, for whatever reason. Uh, something like a Gruber Curse, or maybe like an Interceptor, uh, even a Baby Deagle, would just accompany these very well, and you're going to have a great time with those. So, as you can see, I'll try to find a special here. Um, they just melt things, like, bulldozers are no big deal for me, you can usually kill them on overkill uh, with the Akimbos in uh, 64 bullets which is how much the magazine holds. Obviously, 32 plus 32, you don't get any boost there. So, also the build I'm using, someone's going to ask, it is um, or the perk deck. Uh, it's just grinder, as you guys can tell. I'm just regenerating armor. I think grinder works pretty well for these as well, because you're always dealing out uh, quite a bit of damage with this high rate of fire. And where is the sniper? There he is. All right, look at that. I guess I just melted him. I guess snipers won't be that big of an issue. Get these guys here. And I'll switch over in a second here if I don't die. So this is the single heather. And this is the way I like it. I think it just aesthetic wise, it's a really good looking gun. And it really just melts things. It's a lot more ammo efficient though. As you can tell, I'm already running low on ammo with this heather. Even though I have been picking up ammo off the ground. Just by uh, the enemies that I've killed. And yeah, if you have this on a heist where you're really taking a lot of enemies out, you are going to run out of ammo pretty quick. You can see I'm picking up all these ammos, and I'm still only at 36. So, eventually here, I'll run out of ammo, and then I'll switch over. But, yeah, I just don't think they're, the Akimbos are really worth it to just have a very viable uh, primary. I think they're more just for, like, the um, aesthetic of, like, hey, I have a Akimbo SMG. Uh, that's pretty damn cool. And it is pretty damn cool. Uh, I mean, it really is just for the fun factor of using it. It is a lot of fun to use. Uh, just having an akimbo SMG. But the Heather by itself, I think, is really where it shines. Because you have a lot more uh, ammo. And really, you'll run out of ammo a lot less quick. So as you can see here, like when you pick up the ammo off the enemies on the ground, you're pretty much gaining exactly what you're putting out. And I just, I love this goddamn weapon. Some machine guns in general lately have just been the cream of the crop, I feel like. And I've really just gotten into them. Because I, I always used to complain that SMGs aren't good because they don't have skills, but we have one skill that helps out SMGs, and that's ammo, or that is SMG specialist, I believe. And that is really all we need. Like, increased rate of fire, increased reload speed is really all that, uh, like I said, we need to make these things absolute monsters. And I'm about to go down here, so I'm just going to take over behind this car and just kill some more shit with the Heather. And I have to say, this is definitely one of my best or one of my favorite weapons in the game, because lately I've been on a huge SMG fix. Uh, most of you guys, if you guys are like super fanboys of me, I guess, you'll know that uh, Jacket's Piece is my favorite weapon in the game. Jacket's Piece, the original uh, step, or, uh, skin stat boost. So yeah, no one complained about skin stat boost when Jacket's Piece had it, but I guess every other gun is fucked up. If you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, hopefully I don't go down here. If you guys know what I'm talking to, Jacket's uh, Piece has a attachment on it called 80's Calling, I believe, and um, it pretty much gives it a skin and increases the stats, so I like to call that the original stat boosting skin. But the Heather is definitely in uh, my favorite weapon so far, because uh, I really haven't shown it much, but I've just been using SMGs a lot lately, and I think they're some of the best weapons in the game. And I'm glad we got one. I, like, I really I really don't think I would have liked anything else. Maybe if we got like a new sniper, but we already have so many and so many varieties of snipers. Uh, a new assault rifle just would have been meh. Uh, I'm, I think it was good that we got a new SMG. Uh, maybe a new pistol would have been cool. I feel like we've had the same pistols for a while. 
kill a couple more enemies with this thing. And I definitely recommend. Yeah, it's free for you guys too. So you guys can. Oh, let's uh, let's leave. I'm just want some. All right. And Jimmy's also an awesome character. I've been playing as him a lot too. So that was Mall Crashers. That was the Heather submachine gun. And uh, yeah, I think it's one of the best submachine guns in the game. It's a lot of fun to use, uh, especially if you're running um, ammo. What is that goddamn skill called? Uh, the one where it lets you pick up. I'm I'm blanking right now. I'm sorry. It's the one where you just pick up uh, ammo quicker. If you're running that, you really will never have to worry about ammo with the uh, Heather. Hey, I almost forgot its name. With the Heather ever again. And I think I'm going to get an unfolded stock here. Yep, there it is, unfolded stock. That's how it goes when you have all the mods in the game. You just you can predict shit like that. So, this is the Heather. Uh, this is it akimbo, like I said. And this is it by itself. And yeah, I think it's a really good new addition. And um, there's pretty much not a lot else to say about it. It's pretty much just a pretty uh, standard SMG. But I like the way it looks, and I like the way it plays. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Heather. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, I'm really enjoying this uh, Hardcore Henry pack. When I when I heard we weren't getting Cindy and we were getting Hardcore Henry stuff, I was really disappointed. But I have to say, this is uh, one of my favorite character packs we've ever had. I really like the weapon. I really like the perk deck. Um, still filling it out, though. Once I fill that out, I'll definitely get a video out for you guys and experiment with some builds and uh, just try to get a build out for it as quick as possible. So, yeah, I really like Maniac Perk Deck. I think the idea is cool, and I think it can work well, depending on the skills that you bring. And uh, let's go ahead and inspect these, because I guess this video has uh, part of the knives as well. I'll, I'll just lump them in together. Uh, yeah, it would have been, been really cool if we could have got a... Uh, me and Peacemaker were talking about this the other day, how that it would have been cool if they added a melee weapon that is also... A throwable because this thing really reminds me of a ballistic knife from the Call of Duty series I believe uh, one of the Black Ops games it had a weapon that looked like this where you'd be able to shoot one of your knives and then you had another one to stab people with and in game we have two of these and I think it would be really cool if the one in our right hand was to stab people and the one in our left hand was our throwable uh, I think that would be interesting and a cool new gameplay mechanic but uh, I guess not in this DLC so yep that's the weapons that we got the melee weapon and the Heather look at you Jimmy aren't you a badass uh, Jimmy's a cool character I really like him I think he's a great new addition to the crew and the Heather is a badass so machine gun so yeah thank you guys for watching this video subscribe if you enjoy payday 2 content and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching